the groundwater water that's under our feet um, in aquifers, so geologic materials that store water and transmit water uh, and is also capable of transmitting that water to a spring or a bore. Historically in Australia, groundwater and surface water have been managed as separate entities, um, despite the fact that there's been a lot of research that's shown that they actually mix together. So we're trying to understand the connection between rivers and groundwater. We know when it's not raining, the reason that a lot of our rivers continue to flow is because groundwater is flowing into those rivers. What we're trying to do is understand where the groundwater is flowing in, how much, and also what might happen to that if there's climate change or if we start pumping the groundwater. We're trying to understand groundwater flow rates and recharge rates in the aquifers, and that's an important component to doing groundwater budgets and allocation budgets. So if we're underestimating or overestimating what those parameters are within those budgets, it could lead to drastic consequences for future water supply. So what we'd really like to come up with is some new ways that people are able to uh, measure this exchange between rivers and aquifers uh, that can be readily applied throughout government or, or industry. The National Centre for Groundwater Research and Training is a co-funded centre of excellence of the Australian Research Council and the National Water Commission. So we've worked um, over the last 10 years to build groundwater hydrology at Flinders, up from first principles to the point now where Flinders University and the National Centre for Groundwater Research and Training are really recognised as the national leaders. The National Centre for Groundwater Research and Training has provided a great opportunity to focus a lot of research in the same area and we're able to make much greater inroads than we would with the smaller research projects that we're used to getting. The Centre for Groundwater Research and Training has given myself and many other PhD students the opportunity to do research and be involved in uh, a number of different projects. It's given the opportunity to uh, work with people from all over the country doing similar research and from other countries who have come to Australia to work with the NCGRT. The university environment at Flinders has been extremely supportive of building groundwater more generally, but also the National Centre for Groundwater Research and Training.